The Boston Bruins were shut out for the third time this season after they faced the Toronto Maple Leafs this past Tuesday, falling 4 nothing to the club. That is not the only disappointing news from the game against Toronto. Defenseman Andrew Peaky left this game in the first period after being hit along the boards from Max Pacioretty. He did not return, and Coach Montgomery deemed Peaky's injury to be week-to-week. Coach Jim Montgomery continues to shuffle up the Bruins' lines. The Bruins' fourth line has been broken up yet again with Johnny Beecher, Mark Kasalik, and Trent Frederick now on the fourth line, and Cole Kepke moved up to the third, alongside Charlie Coyle and Matt Potra. But the message team is we're not sacrificing anything we're doing checking-wise. We just have to go to harder areas more consistently. Being direct offensively will be a key for the Bruins in their upcoming games. The Bruins also lack discipline as they were penalized eight times in the game against Toronto this past Tuesday and surrendered three power play goals against the Leafs. You know, especially in our line, I think that's going to be kind of my job there, being, being more, more around that front and, and you know, being, uh, being kind of an anchor there for, for the shots. I think we saw some videos today that when we were there, we got the rebounds. We're a little bit off for the rebounds, but that's going to come. And I think if he could do that more often, it's going, to, it's going to pay off. Looking ahead, center Pavel Zaka will now play in the top line alongside Tyler Johnson and David Pasternak. The Bruins signed for Tyler Johnson this past Monday to a one-year $775,000 contract. The Bruins will take on the Calgary Flames tonight for the first time this season. Puck drop is set for 7 p.m. Reporting from Warrior Arena, I'm Julia Simone, Black and Gold Productions.